Hello and welcome to a CFMEU News Update. I'm Emily Barker. Mining and energy members from every district have joined May Day parades and celebrations across the country. Unionists and their families took part in the annual celebration of the labour movement in parades and marches nationwide. Parades in Queensland turned into protests against the Newman state government's continued anti-union agenda. Queensland district marchers voiced their opposition to Premier Newman moving Labor Day to later in the year after his government also attacked union affiliations, workers' compensation and tried to stifle dissent. Local Hunter Valley mine workers are angry they've been sacked while temporary workers on 457 visas have kept their jobs at the Bogabri coal mine. The CFMEU has raised mine workers' concerns with contractor Downer EDI after the eight tradesmen on 457 visas with no special skills were retained. Downer recently announced more than 100 job losses at the Itamitsu mine, including 40 maintenance tradesmen. Northern District President Peter Jordan said that after the redundancies, there was no skills shortage that necessitated keeping on the 457 workers. The union's Let's Spread It Around campaign included provisions ensuring that in the event of redundancies, local employees are retained ahead of 457 workers. Plans for a controversial 1,500-person mat camp in Singleton will be the subject of a roundtable meeting of political and community leaders this week. Federal member for the Hunter Joel Fitzgibbon and New England MP Tony Windsor will address the discussions with local mayors and councillors. The round table was convened after the union's northern district joined the Singleton community in raising its concerns. The proposed camp has also raised the spectre of the introduction of fly-in, fly-out labour for Hunter coal mines, a damaging practice seen more in the Queensland coal fields. A parliamentary report chaired by Mr Windsor likening FIFO labour to a cancer on regional mining communities was tabled earlier this year. CFMEU members have joined thousands of mine workers in the United States fighting for lost entitlements for former Peabody employees. The Australian CFMEU delegation showed their solidarity, joining more than 6,000 people at a rally in St Louis. The protests focused on Peabody shifting retirement and health benefits to its Patriot Coal subsidiary in 2007, which then went bankrupt, taking workers' entitlements with it. Queensland District President Stephen Smythe said it was important for the CFMEU to show solidarity with their American counterparts given Peabody's expansion in Australian coal. Mr Smythe, who addressed the American rally, said it was vital Peabody's Australian workers knew how their employer treated workers at other operations. For more information on these stories plus the latest on the Let's Spread It Around campaign, please go to the CFMEU website. 